uh, bankrupt crypto lender Celsius has announced that most eligible creditors have now collected their liquid cryptocurrency distributions from its two distribution agents, payments giant PayPal and cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase. Uh, in a recent uh, court filing, Kirkland and Ellis, the, the legal team representing Celsius, uh, provided an update on the creditor distributions as outlined in the restructuring plan. Uh, this follows Celsius's announcement last week that it successfully emerged from bankruptcy uh, which was filed in July 2022. Uh, and according to Kirkland and Alice, crypto distributions to holders in the U.S. are facilitated through PayPal, while overseas holders are managed by Coinbase as the distribution agent. The lawyer declared that $2 billion worth of crypto has been claimed, including 20,255.66 Bitcoin and 301,338.77 Ethereum. However, the filing explained that account holders who claim to opt out of the class claim settlement will not receive any distribution of liquid crypto until such claim is not resolved. Additionally, it mentioned that certain account holders might face challenges uh, in receiving their distribution if Coinbase or PayPal flagged any anti-money laundering or compliance issues. Uh, there has been speculation within uh, the crypto industry about how the uh, actions outlined in the restructuring plan might uh, affect the broader crypto market. On January 5th, Crypto Moon reported that Celsius started recalling and rebalancing its crypto assets to ensure a timely distributions to creditors. However, blockchain analytics firm Nansen highlighted at the time that almost a third of the ETH in the pending withdrawal queue currently belongs to Celsius. In October 2023, Celsius asked the court to approve of its restructuring plan, which at the time was hoping to have creditors repaid before the end of 2023. Meanwhile, Alex Mashinsky, the former CEO of the now defunct crypto lender, is scheduled to stand trial in September 2024 regarding the collapse. Um, however, his legal team has recently faced scrutiny for a potential conflict of interest, as they also represent Sam Bankman Fried, the former CEO of the bankrupt crypto exchange FTX. On February 6th, U.S. prosecutors raised concerns about lawyers Mark McCasey and Tori Young, who have both filed notice of appearances in the criminal cases against the former crypto party's CEOs. The U.S. government called for a cursio hearing in which the judges may ask questions about a potential conflict of interest and why both lawyers were involved in Bankman Freedom and Nishinsky's cases.